Radiant Team Ban. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for UC Santa Cruz, the slithery, slimy, seductive <coughs> slugs, versus UC San Diego Horchata. My name is Wifrex. As always, I am joined by my other half, Golgi App. Yeah, hello. And this is into game two. UC San Diego having a pretty impressive showing for game one. Yeah, um... That Monkey King on Attila was absolutely insane. I mean, every single Monkey King we've been seeing recently have been huge carries in their teams. So Monkey I King won't band? be surprised yeah, if we see a Monkey King band. Ooh, no, we don't see a they Monkey picked King. It, they picked it second phase last time. They so did. maybe they feel like they can get it in the second phase. And if they pick it in the first phase, that they'll be able to deal with it. Yeah. Have you had a hor Horchata? I do not like Horchata. I have not had the horchata. I've never. Remaining. We don't have it up here in Canada. Five seconds remaining. You're not How missing out much. Like? Really? I mean, obviously these guys like it. So yeah, it's it just um, good. it's like rice. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, it's like almond milk, isn't it? Almost. Yeah, like, yeah. Like with actually, the... ground almonds and rice in there. Yeah, exactly. And there's usually like vanilla and cinnamon in it. Right. It's weird, but I, I will try it. Sounds good. See, yeah, whenever I actually ever go down to America and all down to Arizona, I think I'll try a bunch of Mexican food. Because you don't get any of that stuff up here. I mean, we get some, but... You can get you can get horchata pretty much anywhere. Um, what I, what I, I, never when I make it. my way up to the, the Great White North, it's when I want to uh, get myself some true, real poutine. Poutine? I mean, that's not even interesting, though. It's like anyone can do that. It's just... You're talking to a freaking American, man. <laughs> it's just fries, gravy, you put and cheese, cheese. You put cheese curds and gravy on your fries? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Shaker. All right, bands. Extremely meta coming out, bands and picks. Yeah. Um, the only difference, I think, uh, all... Three of these heroes were banned out last time. The only one that wasn't banned out was Necrophos. I can't remember what the other fourth ban was. But yeah, the Radiant picks are... Maybe it was Earthshaker that was banned out. Earthshaker will be picked here. And Underlord. Yeah! Someone we don't see often, but still has his uses. Yeah, um, great against Spirit Breaker. Yes. You, see, you know that's coming. All right. Everyone stand in the circle. Yeah, come at me. Come at me. <laughs> Cancel your charge or die. That's how it goes. Five seconds Underlord. Remaining. So we'll see how effectively they play this. Um, it's a hero that's very, I think, hard to play it wrong. Like Underlord is rarely, I feel, useless because he's so tanky and the Athrobiora is just always good. He's also incredibly good at taking Roshan because his uh, fire strike, whatever I think it's called. Um, <coughs> His raining fire thing. It does percentage health damage over time, so it absolutely shreds Roshan. And he's a great anti carry because of Dire team Fiora. Silence. Oh, there's a that was banned last game right, by UCSD. Was... Yeah. So maybe, maybe there's a good silencer player. Maybe that was like a respect ban or something. I think so. We see that it definitely seems silencer. that way. Yeah. Because you usually don't see a silencer this early on. Or here it is. Or maybe this is like a... Maybe UCSD or S uh, SC, Santa Cruz the Slugs, are a lot like um, the team that we had last series where they're super flexible with their picks. So, mm -hmm. Or maybe not their positions, but maybe it's just they have Radiant enough people that are good on Silencer that not only is it flexible in the draft, but it's powerful in whoever's hands you put it in. Yeah. Of course, Silencer can go mid or a safe lane, or he can be a support... So, yeah, he can also be like, nah, I mean, he, he's you can, usually you can better as a lane. five. Yeah, I mean, his offlane, he needs, he needs a little bit of help because he has no way to farm the jungle and he has no way to sustain himself. Oh, Golgi, um, I didn't say he'd be good. I said you can take him offlane. You can. <laughs> yeah, it's the same as you can take Underlord as your safe lane carry. But, yeah. Um, have you ever seen Underlord build carry with Battle Furies? 
That'll fuse. I figured he'd get like a Mask of Madness or something. Leverage gets, this huge damage that he gets into like more attack speed. He gets like Battle of Fury Echo Saver because he get he oh, because of course. Battle of Fury. Yeah, it, it lets him cleave and kill a bunch of jungle creeps and like rain lane, lane creeps quickly, so you can get a bunch of atherpy stacks and then you know echo saber for big damage. It's not very good, but it, it's, <laughs> it's possible. Not, it's not good. Let's <laughs> let's make this clear. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want I don't want y'all going out there and trying to run this in your ranked games or something and then coming back and blaming me. It is not good, but. Yeah. People tried it when he first came out, but probably were trying to figure out how to play Underlord. And because it, it, in first class, <laughs> it, it, just the surface <laughs> value, Underlord's Atrofiora looks like his best skill. Right? But, like, it's kind of far from it. It's like more like his um, two actives, his uh, Pit of Malice and the Reign of Fire. Those are what really pulls the weight in team fights. And, of course, um, the the Atherpira is doing work in the background, but it's not the damage he gets that's doing the work, it's the damage he's taking away. Oracle. Oracle. Love it. Absolutely love it. They gonna, um, get, they gonna get Huskar or Terrible. Yeah, they can pick Huskar next pick if they want to. AA also they were banned out. Oh, this is a Huskar. AA was also banned out. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, baby. Huskar alert. Yeah, and you gotta also, deny pick it. Deny pick it and grab Dazzle. Remaining. Pugna was uh, Pugna was banned, also, by uh, SC. So there's another one that can uh, kind of deal with Huskar sometimes by making him uh, ethereal. But even that is gone too. Ooh, this is looking bad. I think Santa Cruz is a little bit panicking here. Ah, oh, I they told don't you! Do it. They I do told it. you! Oh my god! I can't believe it! Oh my god! Who does that? Who does that? They're gonna get themselves a dazzle now. Who does that? Oh my god! I was the drafted. The slugs. Ah, uh, you, you gotta the slam pick balls dazzle. on these guys. Oh my god! You said it. I was like, no way. This is that's not what they prepare for. That's not what they're going for. But no, no, they're like, no. You pick Oracle. You ban AA. We see what you're doing. No, we're gonna pick Huskar. We're gonna pick up the dazzle. We don't care what you're doing. They're not picking yet. Profit. They're they're de they're debating it if there's something else that they want. I mean, obviously we've I mean, got the Spirit Breaker Silencer. Um, I guess the issue with with what they have picked already. No, they've still got so they can. Yeah, they've still got options. They're not they're not yeah. stuck with anything picked yet. Um, Silencer can go safe lane. Huskar can go mid or either yep. or. Yep, with uh, mm -hmm. with Spirit Breaker, Huskar. obviously we'll be roaming here. So yeah, this 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 dazzle pick is wide open. If they don't pick the dazzle, it's definitely going to get banned in the next phase. Oh, absolutely. Well, unless, I mean, it depends on what they pick. If they pick a five here, then, you know, they know, oh, no, no there's no point. Hey, man, core dazzle. Fear him. <laughs> Shut up. Desolator dazzle? Desolator solo crest dazzle? <laughs> yes, why not? And then he saves Shallow Grave for himself every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they're, they're burning through a lot of reserve time. Timber. Okay. So it's going um, to be a supportless Huskar. It's going to be just a um, regular old regular Huskar. Well, I mean, and if... Do they, the, the Dazzle gets banned here, right? Yeah, I mean, there's still... There, yeah, gone. there's Dazzle. Why, why take the risk? Why not? Why take the risk of not picking it right there? Yeah, I don't know. I get... I'm so confused. If they're going to ban pick the Huskar, you just commit to the Huskar draft. Right? Huskar is not a hero you just kind of pick. He always requires a partner. Ten seconds, and, you know, Horshata, San Diego, they picked the Oracle and they, they got the Huskar denied, so they picked a Death Prophet, who is also great with yeah. the Oracle, because she has so much healing um, that can synergize with the False Promise. Yep. And also, they got a pure damage to deal with Huskar. Now... Yeah, and then they pick the timber saw, which Oracle the um, classic Oracle problem. I I know every single skill's name, but uh, you know it's like pick him out of a hat. Which one is it? The the root. The, that's gonna timber saw's not gonna be a happy boy with that. Nor is spirit breaker, right? Yeah. The oh, what is the root? Okay, so he has face edict, which is a disarm and magic community. He has purifying flame, which is a heal, and fortune's end. Fortune's end. You got it. 
Because it dispels stuff. That's why yeah. the fortune's end. It ends your fortune. Chaos yeah. Knight. I guess they're just going right. to hope. Maybe they're just going to. This will be like they're going to try and keep him in the back end as much as they can. Because they've got CK to. No, the huskar has got to dive in, right? Yeah. He's got to use his ulti. So, I mean, it, it's just going to be like, okay, if you don't. If you got to deal with a Huskar, you got to deal with a Timbers, you got to deal with a Chaos Knight, and it's going to death ball, I feel like. See, so that's what they're thinking about. But I feel super risky here. And. The, the slugs did lose the first game, right? Yes. Yeah, they did. So this is their last chance. So risking it all in this kind of a weird draft here. Maybe they just picked a silencer thinking that they're going to go um, support silencer. They have no carries that knows how to play silencer. I guess that's true. That could be very, very true. Monkey King. Oh, right. We forgot. Oh, my God. Monkey King makes it through. Of oh my god. Of course. Oh my god, we forgot about the Monkey King. Oh god. Um, I don't know. I, I feel super They've got, they've got Timbersaw, though. They do. Like Monkey King, Timbersaw. Monkey Ugh. King does still Ugh. has a lot of damage. Enough damage. He also gets a Desolator, too. So. I'm more just Ooh. talking like, you know, Monkey King's biggest... One of his biggest uh, signature things is being really Counter, escapable yeah. and really... Uh, and really mobile, which, you know, if they have a hint that he's there, they're just going to take down a, an entire... They're going to log the entire damn... They're going to strip mine the place. Yeah, I mean, so Attila won't be able strip to cut. hover over people and just kind of scout like that in this game as much. But he can still use Tree Dance to escape because he can Tree Dance and immediately spring from it, Primal Spring from it, and, like, that's an incredible amount of distance uh, closed in, like, just half a second. Oh my god, why does this Huskar cosmetic? I know. I think that's a bug. Visual yeah. bug. <laughs> he looked, that he was he looked, gross looking. Yeah, he, he, he looked like he was balding real bad. Alright, yeah, no. In game, he looks a lot better. It's the uh, Hamlet Dominator cosmetic. Which is weird now, because Hamlet Dominator was the item the Huskar always got. Yeah, now he doesn't get it anymore. Nothing, yeah. Yeah, because um, he doesn't get lifesteal. The, uh, yeah, I think that cosmetic was actually called the, you know, new stepdad that that tries to buy your love <laughs> cosmetic. That's what it looked yep. like. Probably His name is Bob. It's always yep. Bob. All right, no rune shenanigans going on this time around either. Ludimer. Ludimer did play a pretty good AA last game. I'm, I'm excited he to did. see him on a hero like Earthshaker. Yeah, so this time he's going to be the roamer. Last time he was playing the Pollution 5. This time he is going to be that roaming support. While uh, Sh uh, Shabu, Shabu is going to be the Pollution 5 this time on that Oracle. Shabu oh, they failed to find that Observer Ward. Oh, so close. Look at that Observer Ward oh. and the uh, Sentry Ward. That is as close as it gets. God damn. Alright, here we go. Death Prophet versus Huskar. Looks like the lanes will be a bit wonky because CK is starting here with his two supports. Yeah, he's stuff, going so. to get tri laned here, yep. which I think is a smart idea. Keep Attila down. Attila was a star player last game. And we'll see how well they can leverage this Huskar draft. Also, Pings coming out in the top lane. Monkey King is still hiding the trees as a courier. Gotta get that move speed. <coughs> Lunimer trying to look for something here. He's at least uh, preventing King D from farming. Because Lunimer is constantly at the wings threatening uh, fishers. But King D is okay. He's just gonna stick around. He's not scared. Charging top lane. 
Life's so tough, getting caught out. They did switch lanes, life's so tough, coming into the safe lane now. Here comes the fire, life's so tough, trying to make his way back to his tower, but still putting the damage into Admiral IA. He doesn't have anyone with him, so he's just getting beat down. He pops so the very fire, but there's no way he gets out of this. Three-man Fissure, he's got the salve off as well. Now Admiral IA could be taking a lot of damage. He gets one, two, he's gonna burn down. No! no. I mean, wow, but this incredible how long he stayed alive for 1v3. Bot lane now, until like going hard oh, into going Foxy. Into Foxy, yeah. Ugh, oh, Oracle, you jerk. Oh, I think that was good, scaring that kill there. Until I get out, they're happy with that. No, I mean, not for stealing the kill, for existing as a hero. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he didn't do anything unfair there, he just charged his fortunes then. He's still level 1. Yeah, what a jerk. What a jerk. Lunmer getting some XP. Much needed XP in top lane here. And some room to farm while life's so tough. Walks back into lane. Oh, oh wow! King oh, D my, going yeah. down the mid. Looks like uh, his um, strongest is going to burn down to the flaming spears of King D. But strongest, the one with the XP gain there. So great job on him. Looks like they just went uh, all in on each other. Strongest used all of his stacks of spear siphon, and King D just <laughs> went in. King D might even look to fight here, knowing that strongest doesn't have any more uh, yeah. spear siphons. Took quite a bit of damage trying to get that done. Charge coming oh, through, charge. it's under Death Prophet. It canceled! He canceled it, he didn't get the stun! Yeah, he right clicked too fast. Oh no! Man, Fisher. Admiral IA and now King D eats a Fissure to the face. I do that all the time, spam the right clicks too much. And then he ends up canceling the uh, charge. You could just shift queue it. You have the, all the time yep. in the world. It's not like I mean, even even you, you don't even need to right click it. Uh, Spirit Breaker automatically targets uh, and right clicks the target he charges to. It's coded that way. It's very unfortunate. Yeah, it's just, it's just like a patience issue more than anything. Like you know, as a void, when you chrono someone, you just constantly right click the person you're killing, even though you just need to right click once. Like the same thought. Gotta get that APM up. Yeah. Admiral I think a lot of damage to yeah, get that fight. single illusion. Fighting the illusions. Six gold for that, baby. What's he gonna do with all that money? He's gonna eventually buy a branch. He just needs nine more. <laughs> eight more illusions, nine total. Attila with Jingu Mastery bot lane. Maybe looking to go aggressive on Poxy here. Uh, just hits him once. Getting it. Still only a level 1 uh, mana strike, so crit multiplier is kind of low on it. I'm so tough trying to fight up against Archon here. Keeps him trapped. Ah, oh, man, just as I click away, King D gets the kill. Oh, actually, Indeed, Strongest, very low. Strongest got the kill on IA. Yeah. yeah, he was trying to get the Death, death Prophet, but he had support behind him. Oh, I really don't know how the Uscard is going. Charge forward onto Attila. Game. Attila gets hit. Trying to run away as quickly as he can. He's still taking damage. Two, one. They've got a Fissure there. Oh, he wants to turn? Yeah, he's going to turn. This is a, You know how Attila play. Yeah. He gets the Jingu up, he can heal from the creep wave if he wishes to. Oh, uh, he just gets a salve. He doesn't need to commit his bottom strike. Top lane life so tough, constantly pump faking his firestorm. No. I, I wonder if he's just right. doing this, yeah, for the uh for the sound effect, because it's quite loud. Just to annoy his opponent, maybe. 
Oh, the action Martha's finally goes down. Uh, unfortunately, Oracle not really much of a ganker. They're going for a gank on the strongest in the mid lane. Nope, they changed their mind. Ravn is coming back in, but no, he's getting siphoned up now. Got siphon, siphon left, siphon right. Charge comes in, it's going to on to Death Prophet. Now they have the leap. King D going to do as much damage as he can, but the Soul Siphon once again. Oh my god. Gonna, he's going to get the kill. Strong is still alive, but will burn down eventually to the Spears. Now Admiral IA, he eats a Fortune's End, is stuck on the creep wave for a little bit. Ludimer trying to close the gap. He's going to charge away. Man, I think that was a mistake drafting the Huskar. I appreciate their ballsiness, but if you're not going to commit to a Huskar draft, it would be a mistake. Dazzle could have done a lot of work there. Like imagine if they had the, you know, the Silencer core, and uh, that was a fight with Spirit Breaker and Dazzle backing uh, Huskar up with a Shallow Grave. Our coming in onto Archon. He's got a Fissure. Ah, oh, it's the wrong side. Bot lane now. Yep. Attila Come getting Attila. jumped on. He is a dead boy. No! Oh, no, he's not! No. He's gonna fight and he's gonna win! His name is Attila! Don't you get it? No, he will go down to Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but Ludimer's here. He's got no mana though. Oh, uh, top lane, there was almost the a game on the uh, Life So Tough, but he just TPs out. Oh, uh, yeah, this Huskar is looking bad. He uh, should have his armlet by now, but still no armlet, no items. Arcane Rune, Spirit Siphon. Yeah, it's pretty Gross. good. Fight in the bottom, Poxy now, eat with some Attila. They've got a fortune end straight onto him. Boundless Strike, they're keeping him in place as much as they can. Oh, they're not going to be able to get the kill with the flames, yeah. And they will back. Failed attempt. Yeah, that's a lot of armor on that tanky tanky. Four levels in reactive armor, Timber Saw. Oh. Well, at least. The other lanes on uh, Santa Cruz is doing well, even though the Huskar is doing bad. Archon getting chased down in the top lane. But they don't have up. really any ways to keep him around. Yeah, and shoved him up to the high ground, so a safe escape. My strongest finishes up his phase boots. He has arcane rune ticking right now. He might commit the exorcism with the arcane rune cooldown reduction. We'll see. It is a 40% uh, reduction, so it is quite yeah, a bit. It's significant, and the mana cost, just so that he'll be able to keep. Oh, till I guess wow, taken the out. Wow, the charge! I didn't lane. actually think they'd be able to get that. I saw IA sneaking around there in the jungle, but I guess with the TP from King D, easy. So he knows that there's three bottom. I wonder if he's going to commit this. Oh, look where he gets found. Keeps on walking. Charge onto him. They've got a Fortune's End channeling into the Fissure. Oh, He's caught. Great Fissure. Oh. oh, not quite great. The strongest does not commit the Exorcism. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Wish charge. To mid talk? just for positioning. No, okay. Yeah. Archon is low, but not much Underlord can do to get a kill there. Bottom lane, there's going to be a big engagement here. Yeah, Zilla coming in. He's going to hit Poxy. Foxy just barely has the mana for TP, but he's not going to have a chance to TP here. Ludimer, meanwhile, gets jumped on from King T. Now, Poxy's keeping the fight going. Wow, he actually goes down. They lose the Huskar under the tower. They'll lose the, uh, the Timber Saw King as well. He still doesn't have his arm level of Mordigan, and he also jumped in there without Inner Vitality. He tried to cast Inner Vitality once he was dropping low, but, I mean... Maybe he's not used to playing Huskar, but Inner Vital, you just want to place on yourself before you go in. You get the damage, you get the healing buff when you're low life. But the thing is, you don't have to be at low life when you cast it. When you drop down a healing threshold, the healing will just ramp up. So make sure to always cast it on yourself before going in. It lasts 16 seconds too.
Life so tough. Still, still Juke spamming out his skills. Both the Firestorm and the Pit. Ludimer finding Rabs under his tower. Now Poxy has to get back. All right, so this is looking pretty, pretty bad for the Santa Cruz side here. We'll see if this Chaos Knight can really carry them through this mid game phase that's about to come up here. Mid lane now. At least this time King D finds a kill before going down. Oh my god. Everything's so fragmented where I think the action is never where it actually is. Attila, Poxy yeah. almost going down here in the bottom. Attila not going to be able to get him, they just let him go? We think it was going to be in the the fight was going to be in the bottom the whole time, right? Because they're all positioning yeah. around it, and then we look away to mid lane, and they die. And then we look back to bot lane, and they almost die. It's like where we're not looking, there's a fight happening. Let's try to, we'll try to make uh, it better. But yeah, Shabu TP just a little short. He, if he TP in there, got the false promise off on the death prophet, they'll have looked completely different. But now there's the armlet on King D. He's jumping on Attila on the bot lane. Attila, no way to escape. Yeah, he's gonna oh, he go aggressive steal, though. Look burns at him. Down. Yeah. Attila don't back down. Gator yeah, I mean, he that. knows there's no way he can get out of there uh, once he's slowed up by the LT. And he just needs to go for that um, Jingu mastery, but... Unfortunately, not getting it. Alright, they're looking to set up an iron one bottom here. Poxy also TP's in. Starting to be some positioning, so keep your eyes on the mid and top because there's positioning for fights bottom. Here comes the yeah. end. King D's gonna get rooted, but Poxy is there. Silence gets used now. The charge in, it's gonna connect onto two. Admiral, he doesn't use his nether strike. Poxy, oh, here Wukong comes the Wukong's command. Out. But it is uh, not. Not. It doesn't really trap a minute. They were all at the edge, so they just back up. Yeah, he prevents them from oh, fine, fighting in tow. Uh, that was a global silence use, so trading a Wukong's command for global silence, I think, is all right. There's just charge into Oracle in the river, but there's a fight going down into bottom. There's one shimmying around each other. Oh, now. the charge. Admiral IA is going to get caught. He's just TPing oh, out. The nice Fissure cancels it. Yeah, this is why we keep looking at everywhere else. Because it looks like this fight's going on bottom, but it's not. Now, there it is. finally, now Pinky fighting jumps the bottom. In, jumps does the leap on the life stuff. Life stuff is going to die a very, very painful, fiery death. Now, all that base health doesn't do you much good when the life break <laughs> distorts percentage of your life. And with the Exorcism, Strongest takes the mid uh, lane tower. It's going to transition that into a top lane. Archon did finish up his own armlet on again, so he was beating away on that tower quite a bit. Now Charge coming in to win my Strongest. His Exorcism is running out in about 5 seconds here. It's going to connect. Nether Strike. It hasn't used yet. It's on cooldown, actually. Yeah, he takes no damage because he's ain't healed from the spirit. Oh, and Archon, Archon! They have oh, the fissure. the fissure. There it is. Attila and Poxy posturing at each other here in the bottom now. Yeah. Oh, there's a Dark Rift coming out to the bottom lane here. Four man TP the on the team. bottom. They're ready to go. Poxy has no idea. There comes Stun the stun. Him. Yep, he gets the Wukongs. Now the fortunes end into the fissure. Silence up. Timber saw. Very slowly. Oh, they commit okay. the echo for it. <laughs> they don't they like that guy. Because Shuabu screwed up his combo a little bit and didn't dispel the purifying yep. flames and gave him two stacks of purifying flames. So he was starting to heal quite a bit oh, uh, with his ooh. reactive armor plus two purifying flames. So yes. Ludmer uh, wanted to make sure he dies before we get the healing up. Charge coming out into Lunmer? No, it just started going out into Bob, but Lunmer, the guys get spotted out. They're finally responding. Here they go. Nether Strike onto Ludimer. 
Global Silence gets used. It's going to force them back for a little bit, but, you know, they're not engaging with this. They're fighting over a tower that's already dead. Poxy yeah. trying to run away. King they D makes his way over there. Now. King D doesn't have a mana for uh, in the right hell, yeah, there's no healing. As the charge comes through, here comes the Wukongs. This is the trap that they're looking for. Two of them getting picked apart inside of the monkeys. Poxy in the back line, gonna have to get out of here. Shuabu can get vision on him. Fortune's end will go a long way here. TP coming in. Oh no, he's gonna find get found. Oh, beautiful, beautiful chain. Gets him out of there before the pit can come in into play. Yeah. <laughs> He's just running across the map. I mean, everyone's chasing him, so... Surprised he didn't actually kill these creeps there. But he just trying to play as safe as possible. Moto, you gotta cut that lane. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't know how Santa Cruz comes back here with this draft. I mean... Chaos Knight is really good against um, Death Prophet. Because Death Prophet doesn't have a lot of armor, is weak to getting ganged up on. If Chaos Knight can land, uh, have a bunch of Phantasms up and gets the uh, initiation on her, they could kill her in a split second. But it's about finding her alone. Top lane now. Limber getting charged up. No problem there. But that is, it is only the support. Now the reaction is coming. And well, Ayeg is found. He's going to TP out. He's fine. He's oh. fine this time around. If Strongest went for him, he had the Yule Scepter to cancel it, but oh. um, thought he uh, Spirit Breaker went uh, towards. Uh, he tried to juke around the trees towards bottom here, rather than TPing right on the spot. All right, so smoke play coming out. It is three v four right now. King D still not there. King D is TPing in. Oh, this oh, is weird. Tactical pause. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Tila comes back. He's back in the game. There's a dark rift happening right in the middle of the fight. Does it bring? I think he's. Just started uh, like, channeling that, so he's going to be a few more seconds until he comes back in. Yeah, it's Huskar just almost Underlord, but they don't know that. Yeah. Is the charge coming in? Charge isn't coming in yet. TP is cancelled. Yep. Charge coming in. It's going to hit onto Death Prophet. Shua Boo is trying to get out of there. Purge is, uh, Purge is Death Prophet. Just wants to get her out of there. Shua Boo not dead, actually. Meanwhile, fight Monkey King going on wherever he, whatever he's doing. If they can get um, uh, Death Prophet, they'll be very happy. They, they're not oh, going to TP out. King D jumps onto Ludimer. Ludimer trying to TP out. He will go down. But Death Prophet will make it out of there. Even Shuabu somehow getting out of there. I thought he was dead. Yeah, meanwhile, Life So Tough is doing some work on that tier 2 bot lane. So finally, a fight that goes towards um, the Santa Cruz side. Let's see if they can carry this momentum forward. Can they push towers though? Uh, Huskar can push towers decently well if he has healers, but he doesn't have that, so it's a little rough. And did anyone go for? Uh, no one even. Oh, they find. VPN onto life so Underlord. tough, Underlord. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, he's oh no! He's making it out. What? No way! Come on! He's getting caught. If, unless he's got the jukes of the century, he's getting caught. Yep, charged up, rifted. Even killing just the out of position offlaner takes him so much effort. I mean, I also think it's a mistake that Emerald IA did not build a um, urn. They really need some way to heal this uh, Huskar in between fights. And urn would have been great, but no one has bought urn in this team. Did Rav Vlad? No, Rav didn't even get it. Someone should at least get Vlad's for Huskar. <laughs> yes. Maybe even Huskar himself, like, he's building normally as if he had, like, a, a Oracle on his team, but he doesn't. He needs to find ways to heal himself. Because he constantly does damage to himself with Burning Spear, and Burning Spear is pure damage to himself. 
because it costs us 15 health. So without something constantly healing you, you'll eventually just die. Like you're you're the strongest when you're at 15 life, but you are taking 15 pure damage every time you all attack enemies. And of course with the armlet taking away, which is also pure damage on yourself. He needs healers. He needs lifesteal real bad. He needs to get like a Morbid Mask and someone else needs to get Vlad so he can get double lifesteal. Yes. I agree with this assessment. Then obviously transition that into King a D. Satanic later. Yeah. Well, they're just gonna let him go. Yeah. They were pretty worried about who was behind him. Yeah. I do think that Cruiser actually has a decent chance if they can drag this game out a long time. Because once Huskar has a satanic and things like that, um, he can sustain quite well. He can. He doesn't need a He's support. Get caught though. No, they're not gonna go on him again. His smoke breaks, but Kingy just keeps walking forward. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. Maybe King didn't realize his smoke broke. If he realized he could just turn uh turn to his side and found the supports there with well, my strongest, strongest about to fight King go D. On him. King oh D. my King D is getting slowed down by the yeah. ghost. Oh the silence goes out. Now here comes the global silence. Yule's up from Death Prophet. She's gonna drop the exorcism now into the fight. There it is. Coming out. Now she's ready to fight. Wukong's command comes out as well. Death Prophet going hard onto Rabs. He is able to run him down. Three of them go down or dead. Archon now getting picked up. That's four. That would happen so quick. Um, th this team has really bad team fight. That's the problem here. Even with the global silence, they could not win that fight. Oh, that's a really rough position. I, I, Huskar is like, this is the squishiest Huskar I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it makes sense. He just kills himself, right? And yeah. I think, um, yeah, th that that draft pick on the Huskar was a mistake. They 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 they, they knew they wanted a way to ban the Huskar, so they picked it, but um, they didn't know how to play with the Huskar. No one bought an urn. No one bought a Vlad. No one picked a healer. Yeah, Ooh. the uh, this game feels a lot like the last time I played Huskar. Uh, yeah, because in pubs with no team, one helping our, you. Our team had a dazzle, uh, but that dazzle right. was my wife, so I never got shallow graved. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sleeping on the couch. Uh, is she watching? No, actually, she's not. Okay, there yet. you go. We're okay. We're good. We're fine. Nobody tell. Nobody <laughs> tell. Gucci's in the chat. He's he's the type Gucci, of person who's gonna clip that and then send no. it to her. No, <laughs> she wouldn't do me like that. Alright, so let's see what the next course of action is. They're still not too far out of the game. It's only a 6k gold lead. I say only. It, it is quite a big difference, but... It is a closable gap. Oh, and Death Prophet also got a soul request. To make Huskar's life even harder. And I love this build on Death Prophet. Veil, the score, soul request, bunch of armor. Chaos Knight is one of our counters, but if you can build so much armor like that... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, just working on that Octarine next. That'll be an item. That'll make her yeah. strong, the strongest. Yeah, super tanky. Also, um, lets her have uh, exorcism more often in fights because the hero is basically based around one skill. Yeah, and she heals while her exorcism is out. Yeah. Which synergizes with the Oracle, obviously. Uh, uh, just go all, all around. Oxy, he's going to eat a fissure to the face. Now he's rooted up in the pit. Follow up with the second root. Keep him in the pit. <laughs> third root. Now they're doing as much as they can. Global Silence gets used. But they're already. Oh, can they it kill out. Death Prophet? Oh, no. Death Prophet is in some trouble. But here comes Monkey King. The monkeys go she's out. Forced, now forced she's promised. just. Yeah. Now she is just life stealing up. And they are. Wow. Just. Oracle. Dogpiling UCSC. 
Oracle was frog. Oh my god, Death Prophet took so much damage there, but got um, false promise, and then she sent out three spirit siphons, and bam, full health. Um, I think this is a now a 10k lead. I think this is almost a inescapable amount net worth lead. Yeah, and with this lineup for the, the, for the team that they're going against. Yeah, with their lineup too. Like they just. It's a, it, look at this lineup. It, this lineup has like almost no comeback potential, right? They have no way to fight from behind. They have no good farmers. Like Chaos Knight farmed notoriously slow. Huskar also farms incredibly slow. Timbersa can farm decently, but he doesn't scale into the late game. Man, you can see this in the net worth just right now. Uh, Death Prophet 12k, Huskar 7k. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 8k on the Chaos Knight, 7k on the Huskar, they're so poor. Huskar still sitting on brown boots. He wants to get his BKB so bad. They ping out Attila. Yes. That might be a hard target to go on to. Yeah, if he stops to farm this, it'd be doable. No, find him. Charge comes through, they're gonna hit him. Here comes the life break, jumps onto him. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, oh but no. the Oracle is here! Once again, Monkey King now gonna start smacking away, healing up with that Jingu Mastery through the ultimate borrowed time, or not borrowed time, seized. They will finally get him. Life's so tough, has to back out. Gonna bring Ludomer with him. This is the saddest Huskar game I've ever seen. God damn. That, that would look like a free kill. But they're very happy with the trade. They're way behind. Kills Attila. Kills the Oracle. Just for a loss of Huskar who is really behind. But they still didn't gain anything money-wise out of it. Here they go. With them down there. They got a, a 1k up. From where they were before. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, <sighs> all right. Well, Archon almost has BKB finish on the Chaos Knight. That will come in quite handy during fights to be able to position around the Underlord because Underlord has been doing so much work in these fights because there's so many um, melee or mobile heroes over on the other team and they're just constantly dogpiling. And the Pit of Malice is getting way too much mileage, getting like two, three uh, roots per fight on multiple heroes. Yeah, I mean, it's a, a, a barely channeled fortune then. It's going to keep them in the pit long enough to guarantee a second route. Yeah. Smoke up from Dyer, SD. We're going to get out. And Radiant are sitting right on top of wards, so everyone sees this kind of rotations. They're smoking in. They jump on the Timbersaw, he's silenced up. He's a tanky boy though, I don't know if they'll be able to get him. They pop the Exorcism, charge forward onto Attila. Attila's trying to make his way away. Death Prophet just in the front, doing everything she wants to do. This Fisher in the back, but Admiral IA could go down life so tough. No, not able to get him. Both teams just backing up. No, except for Strongest still just so deep fighting up. Heals up on the Spirit Breaker. Admiral trying to get out of there. Echo Slam gets used. They will secure the kill on Spirit Breaker. I mean, they only lost the support, so... They're not getting out of anything out of this yet, though. Exorcism's yeah. down and there's no damage to the tower. A they still have Global fight. Silence up. They don't have Phantasm, however. Maybe this is the moment they fight. Exorcism and uh, Wukong's command is down. Yep. They still have the False Promise. Yeah. Which is a huge problem. They need to initiate on Oracle first. They're trying to look into it. Yep, Pox is getting in there. He's closing the gap. Now they might be able to. Global Silence goes out and a real Reality Rift onto Underlord. There's the Life Break. That'll guarantee the kill. Now Poxy trying to find Monkey King. But Monkey King just too fast. Spirit Breaker Breaker's keeping in. in. Does he got him? Can you find it? Does he see him? No, he gets into the tree. 
He might get caught out by Ludmer. No, Ludmer doesn't know he is there either. Oh, he's pushing really aggressively. What on earth is this cow up to? He's just pushing the bomb lane, but oh no, Attila is here. Now he did. Oh, he got himself a blade mail. This is gonna hurt Attila, but not as much as it'll hurt Life seal. him. We got a tree jump. He's gonna charge, try and get away, but he'll be able to get in the trees here in a moment. Meanwhile, Meanwhile the mid lane. big fight in the mid. Exorcism. Oh wow, Death Prophet goes down. Everyone died while we're watching God, this stupid why fat are we cow. Missing everything? This stupid fat cow who got away anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that distraction. Oh my god, that's not what they needed. How much money did they get out of that? That was a 3k gold swing. God damn, I'm not gonna get two towers off that too? Oh my god, Attila plays. And they're looking for Roshan. Oh, I said it was impossible, but maybe Admiral IA actually bought them enough space to win this game. With that a was... weird uh, play on the Spirit Breaker. It looked so intentional with the way he did it, too. Yeah. Right? Like, he was just like, my team's here. I'm going to walk all the way over here and charge into these creeps. When I know the yeah, entire my team is, team is mid. right here. And I know yeah. the entire team is right, right there. They surely baited us. And King D finally finds a way to heal himself. And ages <laughs> of the immortal. By, di by dying. By death. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right, now the game is exciting again. 4K, it was 10K gold lead. Now back to 4K. We have a real game on our hands all two, of a sudden. Two towers and a Roche. That'll do that. Yes. What they really need to do is coordinate very well with this global silence and kill someone before Oakland can get false promise off. That is their dream scenario. So, I mean, actually, it might look like that um, Santa Cruz is going to use his Aegis just for space and farming. Which I'm actually not too opposed against. Because they need to get some items on themselves because they're quite behind still. And if they get some key items on these heroes, they might be more confident to fight. Maybe Huskar can pick up a Morbid Mask. He does have the Black King Bar now. He could also go for a um, Heaven's Halberd. Which could be very good, because he needs some invasion. Yeah, we'll see. Here's the smoke. Okay, they won't go aggressive. If they can find uh, strongest on this Death Prophet... <coughs> the charge is coming in. She free. knows. No, she's coming back. Here comes the charge. It's going to hit. She gets out of there with the Yules. Now, here comes the Wukongs. They're turning it around. They're having to fight inside of the Wukongs. Global Silence goes out, but... They're picking they apart Death Prophet right now. Death Prophet gets completely blown up. Not enough time to get that uh, that help out of there. And they have to just pull out. Yep, they Dark Rift out, so Oracle is going to be saved. And so is Attila. They lost Death Prophet, though. Yeah. They, there's no sustain over here, though. CK is almost dead. He just has to go out. What can he do here? Uh, okay, so King D did pick up that Lifesteal passive. From the talent, I will still, I will still st uh, stack more life steal on him. Yeah, absolutely. Because he don't have any healers. Archon, super low. Oh, okay, yes, inner vitality is going to get him some health. They want to go and fight this. Altis are down. No, Luther Leon. doing everything that he can. He is getting blown up here. They stopped the charge with the pit, but now King D, he is just fighting uh -oh. away, staying alive as long as he can. He gets pushed to the high ground. That'll be one death, but he'll be coming back shortly. And with Shubu here, he's able to just keep everyone topped off very beautifully. Yeah, they had to back up. 10 seconds left on Death Prophet. Not, they don't get as much as they want. They get, uh, oh my god, barely any damage on the tower. They got 60 damage on the tower. They just get a Death Prophet kill out of that Aegis fight. They did lose a Timber Saw in that fight too, so. I mean, when you're behind, you take whatever you can get, right? 
And this Roshan is going to spawn in a long time because that was pretty early on in the Roshan Age of Cycle. Yep. Yep. Just about four minutes ago he went down. Barely any time at all. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like San Diego is starting to kind of... Um, Crumble. And not crumble per se, but they're, they're starting to get a little more serious here because uh, they were playing really aggressive. They knew they were a commanding lead, but you know after losing the kind of two team fights in a row, they're playing a lot more carefully because Huskar with items he can mitigate a lot of not uh, the fact that he doesn't have supports to back him up. He's got thirty two hundred gold. Um, what did you want to see him go for here? I would like to see either a Heaven's Halberd or a Morbid Mask. Yeah. Heaven's Halberd is such a good item on Huskar because you want Invasion on him and you want Health and you want Strength, right? And he also slows enemies when you hit them and also can disarm the Monkey King. So it seems like all around a pretty good item, but he might be saving for buybacks. Oh, he buys a Blink Dagger, alright. Not an item that I expected. He yeah. just wants to have the better initiation uh, potential here. I'm not sure if that's what he was lacking though. Oh, okay, I see what he's doing. He's trying to get on the Oracle. Ah, but Oracle's just going to... Like, if he blows his load on Oracle, then he doesn't have a load to blow on the guy he actually wants to blow up. Yeah, but if he blows up that guy without then, killing then Oracle, it doesn't matter. It. Yeah, I guess CK can get it. Yeah. The thing is, like, there's no point in trying to kill anyone before killing Oracle. So it makes sense to me, and Admiral is a little bit too weak. Oh, Admiral also has a Heaven's Halberd himself. But literally, you can't you can't have too many Heaven's Halberds on a team. Especially Smoke not as team fighting a monkey. Yeah. King D would love to be able to get his level 20 talent there. 15 strength. That's going to go a long way. He could take the attack speed talent, which does a lot more damage, but I feel like he just gotta go tankier in this game. Yeah, plus, I mean, Berserker's blood, man. That's that's your attack speed bread and butter. Yeah. 40 is a lot, though. Let's, let's not discount it, but... No, it is, it is a good talent. Both ways. It's such a weird game, dude. Alright, smoke up. Santa Cruz are split right now. Oh, Archon, he's gonna get caught, he gets sighted. The monkey gets the shots on him immediately. They pop the exorcism and he's blocked out now. By the Fissure as well, Attila's going in, throws the ultimate, the illusions are just gone, the monkey illusion, the monkey statues take him out, there's no Archon for this fight, and Timbersaw about to go down as well, I don't see any way he makes it out of there, King D trying to fight up, two of these heroes do have buyback, they got a Fissure out onto Spirit Breaker, they should be able to catch him, oh he's got the uh, blade mail running though, so they're gonna have to be very careful about how they fight him. Both buybacks are used, and they are back. They've done the economic damage. Actually, they just had to let him go. When Archon got initiated, they just had to let him go and let him die. I don't know why King D decided to jump in there and sold Epoxy. There was no reason to do that. And then that ended up uh, both of them dying and also explaining their buybacks. So now the gold lead bounces back to 11k. There's still no... I don't There's still no CK 30 seconds. When he comes back, there's no Phantasm. And they got yeah. they forced two buybacks. They're all they're completely resustained. They may not have exorcism, but do you feel like they could still press press the issue here? Like if they get another kill so. here with a buyback, they're in a great yeah. position. If they don't, I don't think uh, Santa Cruz is going to get much out of it. Here they go. Yes. Oh, 18 HP on this tower. Oh, that won't deny it. Actually, <laughs> that opens the all shrines. Right. I don't I don't it agree does. with that. Yeah, I mean, taking a, denying a tower 
takes away economic advantage on the other team, but it, maybe it's not the case when you're giving them the shrines, right? Yep, there it is. Unless it looked like they were guaranteed to take the tower, then you can go for the last hit on it, but... Yeah, but they were going to take it right then yeah. and there. Yeah, for sure. Alright, this might be the last fight. The last stand. Exorcism is back up. For Santa Cruz. We've got an Echo Slam. We've got everything ready to go in the barrel. They still have another five seconds on Phantasm, so they should have it ready. Exorcism is Exorcism popped. Exorcism popped. Catch King D with the pit. Now just chipping away. It's at the range racks. Not the worst thing to ever happen. But now they're ready to turn it around. They're just laying Death Prophet to all the work here. She does have the Octarine Core. So yeah. she is healing up slowly. Oh, and they're just let let this barracks fall. Alright, take they go off scoff free. No fight. Um that can't happen. Maybe okay, I guess they're trying to get them on the retreat. Yeah. Charge coming through. It's gonna hit onto life so tough now. Attila throwing out the Wukongs. King D is in the back line, fighting up as much as he can, but Oracle just TPs out. Now, Ludimer, he's gone. Ludimer gone. Life's so tough with Dark Rift and too. Dark Rift, they're just out. Goodbye. Oh my god. C'est la vie. They got a Rax free. Like that was a Freest racks I have ever seen in my life. With 5v5, everyone up standing near towers. God damn. Um, yeah, just looking very disorganized here from Santa Cruz side. It wasn't just free. Like, you know, the whole the whole family was standing there watching, like waving. Yeah. As their house, as some vandals burned their house down. And yeah, they, they just they just saw it and they just let it happen. Oh, now 14k lead here for San Diego. This is going to start spiking. If we look at the net worth right now, there was, uh, you know, a big flow. They recovered a little bit, brought it back to that 4k, and that is just a steep, They steep find draft. Admiral in the Radiant Jungle. Oh, four staff over the Fissure. He's going to be fine for now. They're countering life so tough, taking a lot from Poxy. Poxy doing his best he can. Yule's up onto him now. They want to go on to Death Prophet, but here comes the ultimate. The Exorcism already made its way out, and now she's silenced up for now. She's not able to get any Spirit Siphons out yet. She could be taking a lot of damage. No, she's oh still alive. The monkey's just picking them apart. Archon now going to get destroyed inside of the Wukons. That's four down. No buyback on uh, two of them. Three of them. And this, I suspect, will be the GG call, and if not... And we're going to see some, some base damage, some base carnage, base gore Yeah. coming down now. That might be game. Shiva's guard now on uh, Death Prophet. Oh, I just don't know how they win at this point. And Arcane Rune found on Death Prophet too, as as if she needed oh, more boy. cooldown reduction. Oh, she also got level 25. Look how tanky she is. 2,800 2, health, 32 armor with... 20% invasion from Solo Crest with the Shiva's Guard oh attack speed God. reduction. Yeah, I, 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 CK, they're making their last stand. Phantasm goes out. They immediately stop him up with the Fissure. Now, Death Prophet is fighting away. They're just going, chilling, pushing damage into the towers. Another strike comes through. It's on to Monkey King. He's stunned up for now, disarmed. Disarmed again. Fisher catches Chaos Knight. Are they on the retreat? No, Attila's just gonna fight. He's gonna find Silencer. No problem here. One more shot. Now the charge coming in. Oh, Death Prophet caught. She's going down. Oh, she's able to stay alive for a little bit longer, but they will finally get her as she lands from the Yule. Five. Now Poxy could be in some trouble. Poxy getting caught in the pit, and now Monkey King putting the damage to him. Here comes oh, whoop, the Boundless Strike will get him. Are they retreating? No, King D is here. Here come the monkeys, ready to fight. He's gonna get Admiral IA. Oh, this is a weird fight. King yeah. D, I don't know who to go on. Shabu's just gonna TP out with the False Promise. Now King D's gonna go down. 
Oh they got my him. God. That was perfectly kited. King D is walking back and forth. I don't know what to do. And uh, and we're like, oh, oh he's he going made the it. other way. It just turns into a banana peel. Yeah. And slowly walks over, takes an Arax, goes to mid. GG finally called. Yeah. Ooh, the Huskar pick. This was a draft issue, I think, yep. through and through. Yeah. They, I liked, I liked the deny pick, but they just needed. I agree. They needed the dazzle. They needed. They commit. Had to commit. Maybe it is. Yeah. You can't just be throwing, throwing deny pick Huskars out willy nilly. Yeah, Huskar is a bad hero if you don't have support. So, unfortunate game there. Um, just uh, coming down to one single draft issue. But that's sometimes how Dota goes. Indeed, indeed. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. CSL week number two, UCSD versus UCSC, San Diego versus Santa Cruz. My name is Wivrex, my faithful companion here. His name is Golgi App. You can find us on social media, Twitter at JT Golgi App for Golgi, at Dota Brews for myself. Before we go, let's give you some plugs for our Discord at CSL. If you want to join the community, type exclamation point discord in chat you can find csl on twitter at twitter.com slash cstar league or slash collegiate cs go or cs collegiate dota 2 that's still in my script i don't i don't think i don't think i don't think these dota 2 watchers want uh, <laughs> some collegiate cs go or maybe they do who knows you know volvo through and through all right we are also on facebook at facebook.com slash cstar league and then a shout out special shout out to our sponsor twitch as always, nothing but gratitude for the largest streaming platform in gaming to support Collegiate Esports. From PAX East and West and many more events, the CSL wouldn't be what it is today without the help and support from them. Be on the lookout for cool opportunities to get involved with Twitch in the near future, and be sure to show them some love for their support on twitter.com slash twitch or facebook.com slash twitch. Thank you so much for joining, and we will see you guys on Tuesday. Remember to play some music.